It's time again for another session of Transform Pro Tips. My goal is to help users in Transform work smarter, not harder. Today, I'm gonna to feature some new functionality in Transform, allowing you to limit the data in your session relative to the project database. Wait, what, Robin? In Transform, users can have many sessions connected to a database. Upon launching a new session, users can select what data to pull into that session from the database. What if you can have one large database for all of your acreage containing all the needed data for your whole team? Business development, each asset team, the development team, everyone working in one database, but pulling in smaller bits of data to their session that pertain to their specific charge. I think I heard the folks responsible for loading and keeping data up to date cheer just a little bit. Let me show you how this works. Upon loading a session, users can select the different types of data to load. The top portion of a tab shows the primary data and the lower portion, the secondary data. Checking a piece of data will load into the session. You can even select which of your teammates to load into the project. We'll take for example that Trey, he's working in the north part of the basin while I'm working in the south. So then I won't check his interpreter on to not pull his data into my session. Once finished with all of the selections in this entire dialogue, click apply and then the session will load. Notice the data tree shows session versus project data counts, and users can access the session data load dialog again with this icon in the upper left. Worried you'll miss data others load? Don't worry, keep an eye on this area. You'll be prompted project data has been updated. You can save your session and open the session data dialog again anytime to update data in your session. I love to guide clients to have multiple sessions for different business goals so they can take advantage of the smaller data set needed to complete that task without being bogged down by their colleagues' data. Go ahead and give this a try in your Transform project. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Got questions? Want to learn more? Email me at robin.marshand at or click here for more information about Inveris Transform.